Police working the G20 summit will be among the first in the state to be issued with body-worn cameras. It comes as pressure mounts for all Queensland officers to be given the devices. U.S. police have long used them. Get on the ground now. Get on the ground now. Now the New South Wales government is spending $4 million issuing body-worn cameras to frontline police and the calls are getting louder for Queensland to follow suit. Queensland's got to get into the modern times and give the police the tools to do the job. It's all about accountability and police are accountable, we want to be accountable. Trials in Townsville and Toowoomba in 2010 failed to result in a rollout, so police are buying their own. They're buying them out of their own money because they're copying so much flack from the public these days. Glasses, watches, even pens with video cameras among their purchases. A micro SD card, plug it into your computer and away you go. The bikey task force is trialling GoPros and some crowd management officers will be issued with vest cams for the G20. But senior police will review the New South Wales rollout before making a decision here. There's some huge challenges from a technology point of view uh, in terms of data uh, storage and data retrieval. Nine News has been told up to 30% of police in Logan alone have been wearing their own devices. Civil libertarians say they should be an official rollout, so it comes with strict service-wide guidelines. Police should, when they approach someone in the street, should be required to say to people, you're being filmed. And we'll certainly uh, be taking on uh, board what New South Wales is doing. Renee Henry, Nine News.